Thanks for staying with us on News Hub and welcome to a discussion that I want to imagine that an average Nigerian would like to have at this point in time, especially where you live in a place like Lagos, Abuja, and some other states across the country are witnessing fuel queues, long queues of vehicles to buy fuel because fuel scarcity is biting harder and harder. The independent marketers have said that it's no more feasible for them to continue to sell as the approved price of 165 naira per liter as the federal government would want it. They're saying the landing cost already is 162 naira to a liter and that it does not work for them, for the operations, all the logistics of them to break even while doing business. And so they're pushing for 180 naira per liter for them to be okay and the federal government would have none of that. So that's what we're taking a look at, at this morning on the show. Right. And um, there, there you have pictures of uh, what's going on in some petrol stations uh, across uh, the country. And um, we're going to be joined by uh, the public relations officer of the Independent uh, Petroleum Market Association of Nigeria, IPAN. They're one of the major actors here. They're one of the major actors here because they're the ones responsible for moving the petrol from the depots to, uh, the pet the, to the filling stations and then the government brings in the petrol from outside the country and then they pick it up. Um, I don't know if we have Yakubu Suleiman uh, with us now. All right, it's a pleasure to have you, Yakubu Suleiman. Yakubu Suleiman, if you can speak with us so we hear whether you're there with us. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very Good morning. much. We get you now. Thank you yeah. very much for joining us. So it's a question, and there are many questions, of course, billions of Nigerians are asking. But the number one question is to clear the air whether there is fuel, petrol for us to use, or is this being caused because of uh, a, price, a price differential where you feel uh, markets are being unfairly treated. So they're keeping the petrol and not selling to people who want to buy. So help us clear the air on this first and foremost. Yes, yeah, certainly it is. Well, but uh, the problem is, you have already mentioned, that uh, that price differential. Because uh, as independent marketers, we cannot just go and buy at a higher price and come and say that the normal price which come and are stipulated. So by the time we said, OK, what we buy at the depot in Lagos or Ogara, and we bring it down to Abuja or Kano or Meduguri, with trying to sell that even you know definitely we are going to sell at, at a loss and uh, uh you know most of us many about 90 uh, percent of us we normally get this money from banks and uh, we can't just be running at a loss just because we want to sell you understand and uh you know before it is we always call that the dry land that suffers but now because of that price differential you find out that even in lagos a marketer in lagos cannot sell and get back his profit not rather we're not talking about the profit now even the the, the, the your money that you have invested is not difficult to you know come back to your to your treasury so uh definitely there are a lot of factors that uh, made us not to you know sell at this particular time all right uh it's uh, thank you so and, much uh, secondly okay. about the you know especially people that we, we we put a lot of hope on these petroleum equalization funds you know to arguments our you know the the trucking and whatever but at the, at the, at the, unfortunately the nigerian uh upstream and i mean mainstream downstream regulatory authority are not forthcoming you know for a very long time we have been calling on government we have been calling on the PEF to pay our marketers money, but uh, to no avail. So all these uh, factors, I'm, I'm sure, that's what is bringing this uh, situation. All right. Um, let's talk about uh, the fact that this seems to be uh, only synonymous with some cities across the country. In some areas, we hear that it's still normal. Um, explain to us, uh, let us get a clear picture of how you, you're really prosecuting this. It's to us, it's like a protest because we hear that you're not on strike. You've only just you know, added money to the approved one by the federal government. Yes. 
you can let's for example you can go and say product as let's say 10 naira and government is expecting and government is expecting you to go and sell it at six naira or seven naira that kind of might be we cannot we are not just selling fuel for the sake of say yeah we are marketers we too we are businessmen we are into this business to get profit so that is it we need the government to know that yes they had to look at our problems too you know you understand so that let's the situation you know be in a good uh, state uh, a lot longer years even our prop a profit margin in the template has not been increased we have been suffering inside us not many people knew what we are suffering i did been even nigerians are aware of what an independent marketer is suffering in terms of pricing i believe even the president of the country will give us an award in that uh, national productivity award because we have been suffering our profit margin has been stagnant for the past 20 years and we have been calling as leaders calling on government to please look at it there are a lot of fuel increases governments increases for but our st our profit margin is still there up to this moment so you know now we have current situation where that we cannot move because you cannot go and buy a product at the rate of maybe 170 and you expect us to go back to our filling station and sell it at 165 or 175 will come and sell it as 165. so that kind of might be you know we are just running at it we cannot continue running at a loss government sh should do something about it please that's so, what yeah, you know, Suleyman, so i'm not a nigerian what we believed even on, up until this moment, is that subsidy is being paid and that the differentials that you're talking about should, is being taken care of by the federal government. Please enlighten us as to how it's really working because every other person will believe that, well, all should be well. The federal government is paying subsidy and so we shouldn't be having this discussion in the first instance. So enlighten us more. This to a lot of people is new. Subsidy is being paid not to marketers to NMPC, because NMPC is the sole importer of petroleum product in this country. Everybody is aware. Yes, of course, government must pay that the potential to NMPC, to importers, because even at the international uh, market, uh, the, the market, the pricing is higher, so government must have to pay the subsidy so that they will sell it here at the normal, uh, uh, you know, what they're supposed to sell. But unfortunately, by the time they bring the product here, we don't know how they do with the depot orders. And uh, there's nothing we know about that, but we have to go and buy with the price they have fixed at every every depot every day. But that is it. But no any independent market has been paid any subsidy money for, the, for clarity of purpose. Let Nigerians be aware, please. All right, because... Um, so I, I, I want you to be, be frankly blunt with us when you, because we're going to have to find a way out of this because uh, people are really feeling the brunt of what is happening. I mean, if you look at the pictures, there uh, are queues going on end, tailback stretching into miles and kilometers in several parts of the country in Abuja where you are, in Lagos, Port Harcourt. It's unending. And it's, it's affecting business, affecting transportation. Um, when you say, the, I'm looking at the calculations here, if you have that one, I hear 162 Naira, which has been uh, picked up by the, the marketers, at uh, the 165 Naira, so you've got three Naira. Um, how much does it come up to eventually, by the time it gets to the petrol station on the, the marketer's side, before it gets to the consumer? And if, you, if we can know how much that is, then help us, give us an idea in percentages, the percentage of petrol stations which are being managed by members of Eatman. Don't forget, if we pay the product at that particular price which the port has stipulated, there are other exigencies which we must have to bear. That is the transportation cost and other logistics before it comes to the stations. When the product arrived at the station, it will arrive maybe at the rate of about when it was some of us at the station at a price of 180 or even 190. Because of it, you know, now be mindful of that the fact that 
age you you know is a recalena you know uh, uh this thing happening that it has increased so a product that you load a product from lagos to kaduna or lagos to abuja how much will you pay so all these you know expenses before it comes to a station in abuja it's coming at about 180 180 something or rather 185 then how much do you expect us to sell? We sell at the lower price? We will pay our differential. Well, the PEF are not being paid for the coming. They are not paying our marketers. So think about all these things. We are not, as I have told you, we are not just out for the sake of people to call us marketers. We are businessmen. We are there to do our business and to serve the people of this country. And in the way that comes to mind, if uh, there is no subsidy and then the fuel comes into the country as being imported because we're not refining at this point in time and it has to be sold to the Nigerian people, how much is a liter of fuel or petrol worth in the country today? Well, uh, you know, it's a market of variables and uh, I believe. Uh, we buy at the depot price at uh, 170 75 so uh, let me push it to you what do you expect us to sell at our filling station <laughs> I think we need to have a clear picture because Nigerians are growing I'm sure you drive around you see how long the queues are I understand with you people are going to a lot we buy product we buy excuse me we buy product at 170 175 from where we where, where the source is why we go and buy the product at uh, the private depots so then how much do you expect to say are we selling at 180 190 for us to get some of our profit bring out our logistic or you want us to go back and lost profit to sell it at 165 tell me <laughs> but, but, but the question is, you've said in the last 20 years, it's been very difficult for you to, to break even. And one would wonder if you're doing a business for yeah, 20 years and it's not being one, prof it, uh, one moment, one moment sir. Structure. If it's not been profitable for 20 years and you're still on it, some people will query that. If I'm doing a business one, two, three, five years and it's not bringing profits to me, I want to reconsider to divest into other things. So uh, you want to clarify other things that are going b behind the scenes that can make... I, I want to tell you, like you said now, other things have been going on behind. We have been doing this as a family because NNPC and independent people marketers, major marketers and that man, we, we feel that we are all family. That's why I've been fighting within us we have been calling on them to please adjust because whenever there is there is price increase, the NMPC, they are the authority that they, are, they are, you know people that normally sit down and increases the template. Most time they increase other template to like uh, Dapman or uh, probably most times sometimes even to major marketers. But the price the the the, the, the price adjustment of marketers that that the price template the profit margin they have never and we have been calling we have been calling but we feel this is the time to call on them and to let the general public be aware that yes this is one of the reasons we are suffering and we are calling on even the public to call on the nmpc we are calling on the government to call on the nmpc and even then the government to adjust that price template on a profit margin and to call on the petroleum equalization fund to pay our claims that have not they have not been paying. We have been calling on this. I could recall even in the last two, three weeks, we were about to go to a strike. Some prominent Nigerians, responsible Nigerians, are called on us to please shelve it and sit down on the table with the manager of petroleum classic fund. We sat, nothing is yet forthcoming. So what do you expect on us? Please, we are all Nigerians. We too are Nigerians. We are not foreigners. We are not like uh, uh, Taxaco. We are not like Total. We are not Shell. We are not, uh, you know, mobile. Please, but if it were them, because they are white men, you will find out that they will sit down with them quickly and do their own, uh, solve their own problem. 
but we as Nigerians will continue suffering. They don't care. That is why, look, we cannot uh, take it up. We cannot take it. All right. So in, in the short term, there's always a long term, long term uh, uh, way to resolve this sort of thing, which of course. In an ideal world, we won't even have tankers like you see in there moving uh, products from, um, from the depot to the filling stations. We should, got, we should have had pipes that will move I, them I, across. That is, that is a short term, my, my, my yes. friend. So I want to assure you, if we are calling on PPMC and the government, there was a time when we almost entered this kind of situation. They call us and we told them how to rescue the situation. We tell them they should allocate a particular depot that they will charge, they will discharge our product, take a vessel of product PMS, especially PMS and this AGO, to discharge it at the particular depot. Then we pay it at the normal price, at the price that the depot owners pay. When we pick the product, definitely it will reach to our station and we will sell at the price that has expected of us. But if they continue the way they are being, taking the product to market to other de de uh, depot owners, selling it at a higher price, more than the government approved price to us, there's nothing we can do. So I'm calling on government to please allocate access to, you know, identify a depot. They will go and discharge that product into that depot. We will direct all our members, independent of the markets, to go and pick that product there. And then, Certainly, I'm assuring you, within the shortest possible time, things should be normal, normalized by the grace of Allah. But then I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, this um, uh, short term measure you have is going to lead to a lot of congestion, it's going to lead to a lot of uh, bottleneck problems if you have just one depot and it's supplying. Because that's why I'm not wondering, I'm asking one depot. Good. And we have so many depots in Lagos, we have so many depots in Ogara. You understand? It is for us to, for them to call us. We know how to do our in-house meeting with them. We can sit down. Then we know how to dialogue. And we between us, we know which depot and which depot we're going to allocate this product to. Then our marketer will start moving quickly. That's a short time. Quickly, we'll load that product and deliver as usual. Yakmu uh, Suleiman, let me speak on behalf of the masses, although I've not been chosen to do that officially, but also by Ifeo. I'm still struggling to get a feel myself. I'm part of all of these. Um, let's say on the street, they will say, Jale, Jale. I want to haggle this price with you. What's the lowest you can go? That will be up to 180 now to a litre for the people to at least get a respite from all of the economic crunch that we all are going through. What's the lowest you can go? No, it's not a matter of buying here at the television. I've told you the shortest possible. Uh, uh, this thing we can go. These are the two things. Let's make the product available and at a available price, government stipulated price to our members. Our members are ready. Even and right now, most of our trucks are there at all the depot that has designated to us. They are there, packed, ready to load this product. We'll load the product as soon as possible. Secondly, if we can have the assurance and the actions we see on ground that our petroleum collection funds money, our money that has been hand at the PEF will be paid within the shortest possible time. If we see that bad thing, I, I'm assuring you, we're going to sell product at 165. 165. You understand? Government approved funds are going to sell it. Oh, all right, Yakub Suleiman. Uh, so we're, we're going to wrap up this interview, but I understand you were at the villa yesterday together with the leadership of Ipman and did meet with the presidency. What, what was agreed or not agreed with the, with the presidency? Yeah, most of our grievances, by the grace of God, they are going to be looked at and uh, not even a kind of, uh, say, file uh, writing of memos in the file. No, they are going to do it as quickly as possible. All right. So All right. Off, uh, uh, <laughs> our fingers crossed on that one. Yakubu Suleiman, um, the National PRO, National PRO, Independent Petroleum Market Association of Nigeria. Uh, we'll talk basically with you. We hope this is resolved sooner rather than later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Nice. Okay, okay. I mean, it, it's, it, I mean, that he could still get back to 165 naira for me will be the high point of the interview. All stakeholders, I'm sure Nigerians can't wait for them to come together.
this minute mm. and fix it because people are going through it. I saw a guy, uh, there was a report that a, a man fainted at the filling station mm. uh, on Tuesday because he was exhausted. He'd been on the queue, nothing for him to eat or something like that. And people had to scamper to, around to get him resuscitated. They had to come around him to get him resuscitated. So people are going through a whole lot. Adding the pressure of going on long queues to buy fuel can't be added to it. I yeah. don't think it's something that we can stand. Okay. All right. Um, you're still watching News Hub. Let's take the next break. When we come back.